Simple event, compound event, mutually exclusive events, we're at 13.5a. Remember, you can click on the description for links to the High School Geometry playlist for any videos or lessons you might have missed. A simple event is an event that describes a single outcome. It would be like rolling a number cube, you know, one die, and the event consisting of the outcome three. That's a single outcome. We're just trying to get a three. A compound event is an event that is made up of two or more simple events. So it would be like tossing a coin and rolling a number cube. In the event of heads on the coin and rolling a three on the number cube, they're separate from each other. It's two simple events, but together they make a compound event. Mutually exclusive events are events that cannot both occur in the same trial of an experiment. So rolling a three and a five on one number cube are mutually exclusive events. We can't roll it one time on one number cube and get both a three and a five. They're separate from each other. The word exclusive means not divided or shared with others. So for your notes for mutually exclusive events, the probability of two mutually exclusive events, A or B, occurring is the sum of their individual probabilities. So in algebra, for two mutually exclusive events, A or B, the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B, the sum, see? So for example, when a number cube is rolled, the probability of getting less than three is equal to the probability of one or two. Those are the numbers that are less than three in a number cube. It's equal to the probability of one plus the probability of two. Each number cube has six sides. Only one side has a one, so that's a one-sixth chance of getting a one. There's only a one side that has a two on it, so that's also one-sixth chance of getting a 2. We add the 1, 6 plus 1, 6, we get 2, 6. We reduce it, we get 1 third. It's the sum of getting a 1 or a 2. Now remember that the union symbol, this wide U shape, it means or in set theory. If it's upside down, it means and. This is a union that's an intersection. So a union B means the set of those elements which are either in A or in B or in both. And I'll have links to the Algebra 2 15.6A and 15.6B lessons, videos, that goes into more detail about these if you need it, okay? We can find probabilities of mutually exclusive events. A fast food company applies one label to each drink cap. Free drink, free meal, or try again. And drink cap has one-tenth probability of being labeled free drink and a one-twenty-fifth probability of being labeled free meal. Why are the events free drink and free meal mutually exclusive? Because each drink cap has only one label applied to it. So you're going to get either free drink or free meal. You can't get both. So they're mutually exclusive. And what's the probability that a drink cap is labeled free drink? Remember, that was one-tenth probability. Or free meal? That was one-twenty-fifth probability. The probability of free drink or free meal is equal to the probability of free drink plus the probability of free meal. We add the one-tenth plus the one-twenty-fifth. We need a common denominator, so this could be 5 50ths, this could be 2 50ths, we get 7 50ths. We can also write it as 14 one hundredths or 14% probability, couldn't we? But 7 50ths is acceptable. So here we have a bag, and it's got a lot of gems in it. It contains 25 gems, 10 green, 13 purple, and only 2 pink. 
A gem is picked from the bag at random. That says a gem, so that means just one, doesn't it? The events, getting a green gem and getting a purple gem, are mutually exclusive because the gem can't be both green and purple. It's going to be either one or the other, right? So those are mutually exclusive events. So what's the probability of getting a purple or pink gem? Well, we know there's 25 gems. There's 10 green, 13 purple, and 2 pink. This total 25 is going to help us because the probability of getting a purple one, there's 13 of them, that's 13 out of 25, that's 13 25ths. And a pink gem, there's 2 of them, so that's 2 25ths. We add the 13 25ths plus the 2 25ths, we get 15 25ths, which simplifies to 3 fifths. That would be the probability of getting a purple or a pink. Our next lesson is going to be the second part of this one, and it's about inclusive events, 13.5b. Then we're finished with high school geometry. I'm going to have a link to my Algebra 2 Chapter 15, Counting and Probability and Permutations playlist in the description to help you. So remember, mutually exclusive events can, are events that cannot both occur in the same trial of an experiment. They're separate from each other. And a simple event is just a single outcome. If we have two simple events, we can make a compound event. It's two or more simple events, okay? I hope you're doing well. I'll see you for the second part of this lesson, and have a wonderful day. Bye.